Gritty and dark, its lyrics leave its mark. Seems to glorify a lifestyle of intimidation and guns. In reality, there's numerous ways to get funds. Seems to glorify a lifestyle of crime. A lifestyle of little boys and make it home for dinner time. As more videos get released, so is the increase of the disease. That's what I'm hearing from the BBC. According to their reports, it's a lifestyle that you choose. Drill music, gang culture, violence, no home structure. Are you listening to lyrics that make murder seem like something that's necessary to survive? Those are rules that are keeping them alive. Because in times like this, you can't walk the streets alone. Kids are out here getting stabbed over the brand of their mobile phone. Listen to lyrics where people are fighting over bland that neither of them own. It's time to see this drill thing alone. Just trying to make sure these little kids make it safely back home. This is a really hard letter to write because I know I have failed you as an auntie. Never in my wildest dreams did I think you would be in this position. I'm so sorry that you are going through this. I'm so sorry that we limited your voice when you deserve to be listened to. I'm so sorry that we created an environment where your concerns and thoughts were bottled up and not encouraged to be let out. They turned on the lights and sound said, we gotta take chase, cause there's things in the red. Oh shit, shit, My name is JJ, and that stands for Jigga J. We back out shanks, we put it through patch, can't walk it, then you know that's fast. And my team don't feel like S1, but where these kidneys at? We keep a splash, it's slice on the dice, and we can't find it, so we getting all mad. And my team don't come like surgeon, up your chest, trying to see these lungs. Pull up her air, then we punch you, look like we punch your tiny, your lungs are gone. And you know that you ain't complying, whenever we see the chair, then that's why they're always dashing whenever we hear the sirens JG I'm way too violent violence I must say let's go knife him dancing PCA let's go find him dip him up the punch like Tyson oh shit I can hear the sirens just clutch his fucking the child and balling my face you know he ain't hiding PCA it's like that's good timing if I get run devil watch you on don't think I'll do what difficult weed in my hand I got blood in my hand they thought I was doing my baby I don't care what race you are this beast her last so any can get it and the ends are way too rum cause you know it's full of tea must be I'm searching for a man like Google Cause I want my man to take his chrome How you saying that you're not involved? I swear that's your bro, go back your bro I told you go round there Just back out your young, come back your bro Cause you know if that's original S You really know you're a slice man's throat You're a slice man's throat Surgeon, up your chest, trying to see these lungs. Pull up her air, then we punch you. Look like we punch your tiny, your lungs are gone. And you know that you ain't complying whenever we see the chair, then that's why they're always dashing. Whenever we hear the sirens, JG, I'm way too violent. Violence, I must say, let's go knife him, dance him, PCA, let's go find him, dip him up the punch like time. This is sick. Oh, shit, I can hear the sirens just clutch his fucking child and balling my face. You know, he ain't hiding PCA, it's like that's good timing. If I get run, devil, watch you on, don't think I'll do what difficult. We in my hand, I got blood in my hand, they thought I was doing my baby. I don't care what race you are, this beast her last, so any can get it. And the ends are way too rum, cause you know it's full of too much bacon. I'm searching for a man like Google, cause I want my man to take his chrome. How you saying that you're not involved? I swear that's your bro, go back your bro. I told you go round there, just back out your young, come back your bro. Cause you know if that's original S, you really know you're a slice man's throat. You're a slice man's throat. Been off Insta and all socials for a while due to the sad past of my bro. Life has been a roller coaster and I really don't know how to handle this. But one thing's for sure my bro's legacy will never die and the bond between real bros are forever. Another thing is you can never, never, ever know what to expect in this world and life doesn't teach you how to cope with the unexpected or the pain. I remember the thing he used to tell me every time I asked why God is always silent when I prayed. Your answer? Isn't the teacher always silent during the test? I swear them words hit me differently and they will never be forgotten. 
because they were words of wisdom. Now I want to speak some wisdom to you. God says, all the people who are most loved by him from the cruel and evil world we live in, you, my bro, are loved. R.I.P. bro. You. Walk on, man, them. Walk on. Yo. Hey, free your trade, though. Free him up. Free him up. Hold on, you, man. One sec. Say nothing. Man, I'm still talking from God. Boom. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, it's calm down here still. What are you, man, saying? Like, I'm good still, bro. But flipping, man, sees your facial hair growing, though. <laughs> Ricky Ross, I see. <laughs> Come on. I see, I see, I see, I see. Come on, G, bro. Bro, bro, man, can't wait to touch road, you know, because, fam. When I touch road, you man better have my syrup ready, you know. I want to get collapsed. Nah, if I ain't getting no syrup, but you're getting that fresh apple juice. <laughs> you know how expensive. How you going to do me like you know, that? How you going to do you me like that? You know how expensive syrup is? But it's what it is, though. But bro, fam, I really need to get out of here, though. Like, I can't wait to get out of this dead truck. <laughs> like, bro, look, look at the grave, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, oh. the audio watch that. Man's got the Christian Dior for you, innit? <laughs> Christ- My God. Christian Dior, Dior. Oh. Billy, Jean, Billy Jean, Billy Jean. Jean. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Are they playing JJ's new song at Penn? Yeah, bro, fam, the amount of guys that's banging on the door screaming his tune. <laughs> Mental. Joked him. Mental, Cover, man. fam. Got the whole wing playing my song and that. Enough rights in there as well, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but Caden, though. Serious, not one of your sister. What do you mean? Like, fam, she said spreading bare hate on my comment section and that. Huh? Fam, she's jarring again. Fam, I have to pack her. Oh, Can't lie to you, I'm out of block her still. Why go on hater? What are you talking about? I'm not a hater. Word on road is you're hating on JJ's music. Um, I'm not hating on him personally. I just don't like the kind of music that he's making. I swear you listen to Beyonce and Rihanna. Ah, uh, work, 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 work. What's she working on? And riding on that wood, riding on that wood, riding on what wood? And when I'm with you, all I get is wild thoughts. Wild, yeah, wild, okay, wild, we like, get it. Alright, like, You know that's not the same thing. What's the difference? The difference is that draw music talks about killing people. That's what they're actually doing. People are here on the road actually killing people. They talk about it. It's reality, Destiny. It's reality. Yeah, and that reality is what got Kane killed. So I don't want to be reminded of that all the time. Shut up! Hey, just shut up there. Shut up. Who who the hell are you talking to? You! Don't ever in your life mention my brother's name to, to prove a point. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? See, you're not understanding the bigger issue here. You know, you're so worried about how our family will look. Well, guess what, Caden? Our fa- you know, family can be a bad influence as well. Family? What are you waffling on about? Say it with your chest. What's your point? My point is, stop hanging out with JJ. He's clearly a bad influence on you and you're just, you're so blind to see it. You're following him around like a puppy. I can hang out whoever I want to, whenever I want to. They say that this is a man's world, but without girls, where would it be? To be able to open a lot of doors, it's a woman that Yo, what you say? Nothing, fam, I'm just chilling, innit? I hear that, I hear that, I hear that. I've got some uh. things to do, though. Hey babe, sorry to interrupt you guys. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Um, just before you leave the house, will you bring my straighteners with you? Oh, I can't even lie, I already left the house already. Oh, babe. Yeah, I've really literally left the house. Oh. I mean, if I was in the house, then I would have came over and gave oh, it to you. But... Okay, no worries, no worries. All right then. Okay. I'll call you back though. All right. Cool. Go on. Right, what's it cool, uh, fam? Let me come back you in it, fam, and then after you go get every up in about an hour or so. I yeah, about that, I can't even meet you, fam. Where? Because I got the flipping personal statement thing today. I what talking about? Oh, I'm a good citizen, good communication school. Can you use my editing group for your media school? <laughs> fam, you dumb. I don't try to violate my thing, fam. 
Uh, yes, fam, I'm you know smart. Don't try to get on to me, fam. Uh, yeah, I'm smart as well. But you know, Mr. Joe Lofi's too much, you know. Where's mm, it? Oh, yeah. He's he's as an example. Hey, what? Who? But Mr. Joe, fam, you told me to use your thing as an example. But you know what? I was shouting a bit and my uncle's calling me. Say now, do your thing, man. Go on. Yo, Jay. Yo, Yo. what you Yo, why is your girl getting chased through the block, bruv? Uh, what do you mean she's getting chased? What have you got her into, bruv? What's going on? I, um, I don't even know what's happening. You know what? I think you should give her a call. She's gone to the hospital. Uh, I'll call my bella now. All right, all right. But listen, you got to stay off the roads, OK? It's getting too hot out here. Trust me. Uh, whatever you say, unks, but I'm going to shout at nine. I'll bring you later. All right, all right, all right. You don't understand the strength we bring. You don't get how we protect our kings. You Your reaction is? No, not really. I mean, Amy. Oh, what happened? All right, so I was on the block with Ray. I see some boys approaching me. I walk away. They start running. I'm running. They're chasing me. I trip and I hit my head. And then I was knocked out and I ended up here. No, what do you mean? I don't know, they had like the hoods up and they were covering their faces with masks, so I don't know. Oh, they were wearing masks? What colour were the masks? Um, red and black. Red and black, I think. Red and black. It's not mm -hmm. like trophy blood. Wait, really? It's on trophy blood? How do you know? <laughs> that my uncle lives there. Oh, really? Okay, has this ever happened to you then? Cause... Nah, because they're verbalists. They're never about when I'm about. Oh, so you're... Your song came out last week, and now I'm here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. you, oh, you listened to the song? When the block they don't come, man. Can you stop? Mm. Can you stop? It's banging, isn't it? This is real. This is real. Your song came out last week, and, and mm. now I'm with this. What's going on? Nothing. Everyone's just fucking with the song. Wait one second. Hello? No, nah, give me 10 minutes. I'm doing something. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, when you meet me, I need you to do something for me. I don't ask big man questions. <laughs> I say nothing, bro. Sorry about that. Who are you talking to? Why are you asking bad questions? You're moving like a fed. D don't start arguing with me. I'm just trying to ask questions. Chill. I'm one of my boys, like, just relax. Whatever. Anyway, talking about tunes, talking about songs. Why don't you write something for me? So for you, I, I could do that, as long as it don't get published. Oh, no, it's, it's getting published. It needs to be a little bit what? less aggressive than your usual tunes. But it's for you, so you don't need to go to the whole world. The whole world needs to hear it, so they know that I'm your girl, so that this never happens again, so they know that you care about me. Oh, I think about it. You'll think about what? Promise me you're going to do it. Do you mean promise you? I just told you I'll think about it. Like, man, fine. JJ, like, I'll think right, about right. it. Cool, cool, cool. Fine, fine. Uh, come on. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Right, bye. Right, bye. Hi, JJ. Yo, what a surprise. Don't act so surprised. You know why I'm calling you. Oh, you had to hate on my music video again. No. I want you to stop hanging out with Caden. You want me to stop hanging out with my cousin? Yep, pretty much. For where? Are you kidding? Look at yourself. You're such a terrible influence. I don't want Caden ending up like you. So you want him ending up like you? I don't think you're paying on ways becoming a snitch like you. See, this is the kind of behaviour I'm talking about. This. Just back off, seriously. Kayla's my cousin, I'm not gonna back off. What? You want him to be in your care so you can end up like... What? If he looks at your care, then you're gonna end up like your brother. Okay. Did you really just say that? Right, I can't man. believe you, man. Did I touch it up? Are you going to start crying? God, yes, shut up. Just cry. shut up. Look, <laughs> if you don't <laughs> hang up with Caden, I'm going to the police. Police? 
<laughs> Go to the police and tell them what. About all your illegal activities. Keep laughing. Mm. See what happens. <laughs> See, this is the life I live. This is the life I chose. And do you not think I'll be prepared for the police? Destiny. Look. Give me props. Honestly, I'm smarter than that. Honestly, JJ, I don't care about you or what you do. Just don't drag Caden into it. It's not fair on him. Stay away from him. Yo, yo, listen. This is the life I live. Got ups and downs. Yeah. Ups and downs. Imagine he train it. He must send me a letter, and, and he must have been like, oh, the ops tried slice him up in it. <laughs> I was gonna go get some food. Gee, imagine Trey must have banged his face here, yeah. and then the girls are, like, oh, help me, go, 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 da, da, da. But yeah, what I'm saying is he got put in a mm. basic store. Mm. Uh, what now? So like them are not really trying it, but cheering them and holding it down though. Wait, mm. wait, wait, wait. Did you tell you this over the phone? My life. No, bro, we sent a letter, man. Ain't you listening? Letter? Yeah. Hey, JJ, tell your boy, bro. Tell your boy, tell your boy. Uh, what else did Chase say? It must have been like, oh, from now, we need to like, actually prepare ourselves, innit, for the ops. In case something happens, innit? You don't know mm. what could happen to you. So, yeah. No yeah. way to move it. Ready to go. Man's been shot slap out and then, you know. Ah, yeah, say nothing. Man, grab that dirty little cool. bean, you know what I mean, fam? Mm hmm. Man's out here, you get me, fam? Been cool t shirts for the whack, though. Say nothing, cool t stretcher, bro. Get a baby now, make it with Oh, fam, so Slap it off at them, fam. Again, baby fam. nine, baby Glock, baby Glock, all, Glock. Glock all of them things there. Mm. Fam, they don't want nothing, fam. They don't want war, fam. They don't want They ain't on piss, you get me, fam? My lie. Hey, but KS, though, you chat to girls? Fam, these neeks are chatting rubbish online, I swear. Who? Fam, some next, you say some next man talking about Kane, fam. You feel mad? Are oh, you mad? On oh, my life, you need to pressure these dons. Nah, you say Troy's right, fam. As soon as he comes out of pen, yeah. As soon as he comes out of prison, we need to be on him, fam. We need to have a rap. Wait, wait, hold, hold mm. on, hold on. Well, the thing is as well, knowing these verbalists, they ain't gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna show up. We're just gonna go with there looking like idiots. Hey, I thought I heard something. Oh. Oh, so okay, Kesha back here. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, what am I gonna say? Hey, uh, you man, let's go now. Rise up tonight, fam. Fam, whatever, because we need to actually get these man. They're starting to piss me off. Mm. Say so, you nine know, man's on it. Man, I'm verbally some some wet done some. Hey, uh, fuck the ups, innit? Yo. Yo. Sis. Hey, Lamar. Hey, why are you taking so long to answer? You alright? Sorry, I was doing something with Elijah. I'm good. Um, how are how are you? I'm alright, you know. I got my bevy. Sipping. I'm nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. You're, I see. I see. You're having fun. Come on. Always got to be done. The sun is shining, so I must. How you doing? You all right? Um, I'm okay. I'm a bit stressed out. Let me take one guess. Uh, honey. Yep. Uh, you know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to tell us to come and get a you, man. Seriously. <sighs> Lamar, I have tried, but it just goes into arguments and I, I can't be bothered. It cannot be a daycare thing anymore. You need to quit. <laughs> you need to quit. Stop calling Hand it a your daycare. Resignation. <laughs> Stop it. It's not funny. It's really not funny. <laughs> oh, um, gosh. Listen, mm. Destiny's calling. I'm going to let her in, yeah? All right, all right, cool. Wait. Nah, big people chat. Can't come in. Let me let her in. 
we'll talk after. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hey, Destiny. Hey, Auntie. Hi, Uncle. Hey, what's happening? You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I uh, just wanted to talk to Auntie about something. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Sorry, what did you say? Go ahead, Destiny. We're listening. So, I wanted to talk to you about Caden. I overheard him talking with JJ and some of his friends about some letter and once they once someone gets released from prison, they're gonna get revenge. I'm really worried about this. What? Wait, hold on. Um you was eavesdropping on your brother's um, conversation. No. When did I ever say that? And now you're coming to snitch on what? Nah, that's not good. Lamar! Not good. Stop, don't that's call her a good. snitch. Snitch. I'm not. Look, I'm really worried about Caden. Ever since he's been hanging out with JJ, he hasn't been the same. He's being led down a dangerous path. What exactly are you worried about? That he's gonna get hurt. Destiny, sure? I feel like you're being dramatic. Dramatic? Are you being serious? I don't want to lose another brother. Okay. All right, Destiny, if you want me to talk to him, I'll talk to him, okay? Thank you. Maybe you'll be able to get through to him better than me. All right, I'll try. Okay, thank you. All right, see you soon, auntie. Bye, Destiny. <sighs> Why did she have to go and mention King? Just coming to mess up my mood, man. Flipping or? Lamar, don't take it to heart. No, oh, man. Listen, I'll sort it. You better. I will. No. Anyway, let me get back to my daycare, as you'll call it. <laughs> yeah, go on, you do that. I'll get back to my I girls. will. All right, I'll call you another time, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, before you go, um, what yeah. was that letter you was looking at? What letter? The NHS letter. Oh, it was nothing. Are you sick? Lamar, I'm fine. Do I look sick? I'm fine. Don't worry about it. You sure? All right. Love you. Listen, I'll call you another time. Love you, yeah? All right, sis. Love you too. You will see that there's some dark patches, some irregularities on the lower left-hand side. Um, so although this is not cure cause for undue concern, this is something we should look into and I'd like to put you in for some more blood tests. No, thank you. I, I really can't be bothered. I have things to do. I'll be fine. Um, so, Mr. Joshua, I would really like to stress, although I appreciate that tests like this are inconvenient and frustrating and uh, I want to thank you for your patience up to this point, um, it is very important that we do continue with this process. Unfortunately, you are part of a high risk group. Um, black women of your age are more susceptible to certain forms of breast cancer, such as triple negative breast cancer, which is actually um, very aggressive and quite can have serious consequences if it goes untreated. So the earliest appointment I have is tomorrow. Will that do for you? Um, I'll try. If you can make it earlier, I, I will prefer it, but I'll make it, I'll, I'll, I'll be there. You don't understand the strength we bring. You don't get how we protect our I see the front that he puts on for others. But he doesn't fool me. I see how hard he works for the fame of fortune. His name in lights, his face in magazines. But I just wish it peace over passion. Passion does not guarantee my safety. It's either me or drill. But I know the softer approach doesn't give me the same thrill. But for me, at the end of the day, it's all about decisions. And I know where I stand. So you better not come running back to me when it has a blood in his hands. I swear this is the life I live, man trying to make these peas and shit I swear this is the life I live, man Z really knows what I do and ish I swear this is the life I live, ching man with anger, they man dip I swear this is the life I live, I swear this is the life I live I banned them, I can't even lie to you, see this music thing, yeah? Bring a bare attention, especially the female attention as well, you know She's mm. swing on to KS 
Yeah, you should, for you mad, bro. <laughs> you should have swung them to him, bro. Cause my man gets no girls at all. No girls. Bro. Hey, shut up, man. Man gets girls. Hey, who are you talking to, though? What's your mouth and what's your You're talking? always on. mad. What? Hey, yo, I love my love, my love, my love, my love. Yeah, 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 hey, yeah. Say nothing. Say Say nothing. Hey, man, then, man, then. Say nothing. <laughs> But I heard that raise on to you though. <laughs> Don't try violating my thing, you dumb. <laughs> Respect me, mm. fam. Mm. Nah, fam. But KS, you're getting off the kill. Fam, I do, like. Come on now, fam. Nah. Like, even. Nah, man, 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 man has. Man has. Ten side things in it. Nah, but. Are you, man? <laughs> hey, yo. Man's gonna be back in it. I'm gonna show nah, you back in like two minutes. It? Say yeah, so what's happening? Uh, I was just wondering if you're coming for dinner tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you? of course, of course, of course. What do you want? As long as that macaroni and cheese is still on the right, table. Right, 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 right. Okay, who are you talking to? I'm talking to JJ right now still. Yeah? Yeah. Actually, I was just speaking to Shanice. Uh, she told me about this really cute poem you wrote for her. Shanice, what? JJ's around poems now. Uh -huh. I beg, let me see it. <laughs> I actually want to see this poem. Wait, are you going to write one for me, maybe? Yeah, soon. But it's going to be a surprise. Mm hmm But can I see it all? Uh, what are you man talking about? Though? Why are you man bare laughing? <laughs> no, I'm just telling huh? KS about K1 want to do music with me. And <clears> I thought <throat> I'll come ask you for the media expert. <laughs> <laughs> I swear you're trying to violate me. You're really trying to violate, yeah. You're really trying to violate. Huh? You're really Gee, trying to violate, you know? I'm just saying, did it? You don't know what's on my lap right now. Don't make me expose you, bro. Oh. What's on his lap? You're going to take a camera shot. <laughs> <laughs> Shots for the Insta. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Say no more, innit? Say no more. Roses oh are red. Oh, my God. Violets are blue. What's that? Way too fine. No, 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 shut hey, up. Hey, 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 yo, 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 Listen, 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 listen. Hey, relax, fam. No, 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 no. You're way too fine. Hey, G, 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 relax. Relax, fam. Relax, fam, relax, relax. Shit! Sweet, boy. I see you shining. Mad, bro. Oh, my God. It's coming like a devil on that, bro. No, no. I'm like a girl in that bro. Hey, what? You yeah, think I'm bad? You think I'm slick now? But obviously, oh obviously, obviously, God. obviously, yeah. Girl, you know you're so beautiful, and anything you say is suitable. That is cute, man. That is cute. <laughs> man. I read your thing, though. I read yeah, your send that to my girl. Oh my God. Lovely. Hey Kaden, hey Destiny. I thought it was about time that we had a talk. I know that you two have not been getting along and I know it's been a year since Cain passed away, but I thought it was really important that we talk today. I mean, Kaden, Destiny has shared her concerns and I just wanna ask, how are you doing? Honestly, auntie, obviously Cain's death has meant a lot to us like it's impacted all of us and i guess i'm just not over it i just i think it's understandable that i'm grieving and i need space i get that i mean kane's death affected everybody kaden but that's not a reason to shut your sister out you need to talk to each other well why what, what do i need what's to talk about she keeps going through my going going doing things that she shouldn't be doing, like, and I'm going behind my back doing like... Kaden, you know that's not... I don't know. You know that's not fair. I'm only doing it because I'm worried about you. And, you know, if I didn't care about you, I wouldn't be doing this. Give me my space. I need my space. Kaden, she does have a point. She's your older sister. She is looking out for you. You need to understand that. <sighs> Auntie, I don't really want to talk about how I feel with Destiny here. I think it's just best if we have a one-on-one -on -one chat. Don't shut me out again. Destiny, it's not your, it's like you're not understanding what I'm saying. Give me my space. Oh. 
Listen, Caden, I'm not one to get into your business, but I am worried with some of the things that Destiny has told me. And I want you to be honest with me. Do you have any friends from prison? Me? Me? No? No, I do not. Really? You don't have to lie to us. I overheard you talking about some letter, you know, waiting for someone to be released from prison and getting revenge. You're sneaky. So you've been going behind my back, telling auntie stuff that you don't fully understand or know. You're a snitch. No, I'm not. I'm trying to help you. Snitch. Just a snitch. Caden, stop being rude to your sister. I really need to know this. Are you expecting anyone to come out of prison? No. He's lying. Why would I be expecting anyone to come out of prison? Caden, you know that I will find out. And if I have to talk to JJ, I will. JJ's got so I'm going to ask you oh. one more time. Are you expecting anybody to come out of prison? No. Caden, don't lie to us. You might as well just tell us no now. We're lying. trying to help you here. What don't you understand? Stop talking, you snitch. Don't talk to me. No, auntie, no. Caden, are you in danger? No. Are you good, mum? No, I'm not good. Thank you, JJ. We need to talk. Now, what have I done now? <sighs> JJ, what have you got Caden involved in? Oh, Destiny. Yes, Destiny. Destiny has told me everything. Who do you know from prison? I don't know no one from prison. Do you think I don't know when my son is lying to me? Who are you expecting to come out of prison? No, I'm not expecting no one from prison, but can I ask you a question though? Why are you deflecting? You don't need to ask me any questions. I'm talking about you and I'm talking about Caden. Are you okay? I will be better if you would answer my questions. Nah, you've been going to the hospital recently a lot. Um, yes, and how do you know that? No, I saw a couple of letters talking about blood tests. You saw a couple of letters, so you went through my letters. How dare you? I was concerned. You were concerned. Do you know what I'm concerned about? I'm concerned about you. I'm concerned about Caden. I'm concerned about your rubbish music. No, my music's doing good well, though, man. Your music is full of lies. I've heard your lyrics about you stab this person there and you get this money from there. That is not you. That is all lies. You're a liar. Mum, you can't be calling me a liar when you don't even talk about your own health to your children. My health has got nothing to do with you. And yes, you are a liar. In fact, you're not even a liar, you're a coward. Because that's what cowards do. A coward? You heard me, coward. You calling me a coward. You are a coward. I allow the chat, fam. Allow the chat. Am I your boy? Am I your friend? No, I'm not. I'm your mum. Show me hey, respect mom. when you talk mom. to me. Mum. Mum, I will shout you in a bit, innit? Shout at me in a bit? Who do you think you're talking? I swear, JJ, you better not hang up on me. Boom. Do you understand? I'm the man in the mirror. Do you understand? I'm the man in the mirror. Do you understand? I'm the man in the mirror. No, they can't be it, my Jack Jack Thriller. Do you hey, understand? Mom. I'm the man in the mirror. Do you understand? I'm the man in the mirror. How you doing? Look, look. I got my cup. I got my drink. You're always moaning at me saying I'm not drinking enough. And here you go. I'm drinking to you. Yeah. I'm the right there with you, you know that. You don't seem as happy today, Lamar. What's what's going on? Ah. Uh, it's just everything. Like, she is really doing my head in. And I'm at that point where I've had enough now. Like. It's really got to that point. What's the issue? 
What ain't the issue? Lamar, come on. Can't you just work things out or talk about it? I'm here. Nah, talking's done. The way she's been talking to me is... Ugh, the respect is gone. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. What? Who are you talking to? Lamar? I told you I was going to do that. I'm doing it later. Just keep your mouth closed. I told you I was going to do it later. Don't say nothing to me. Keep your mouth shut. Um, Lamar, is that how you talk to her normally? You need to calm down. That's how things go, innit? That's how things go. That's not like you, Lamar. You don't talk to people like that. Seriously, what is going on? You're getting angry, you're looking tired. Talk to me. Look, yeah, things ain't been the same since Kane. Since Kane, what has Kane got to do with your marriage? Look, listen. Before I say what I got to see, you need to know that I'm sorry. And more than anything, I love you. Sorry for what, Lamar? Cain died because of me. Sorry? He died because of me. I'm, I'm confused. How did Cain die because of you? <sighs> he needed to make some money. He came to me. I was able to sort that for him. And things just went wrong. Lamar, you're telling me our nephew is dead because of you and because of a little bit of money. Lolly, I'm sorry. He just wanted Lolly, to make some who? money. Are you mad? You are mad, Lamar. Our nephew is dead because of you. I don't, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want to look at you. I hope... Lolly, I hope your wife continues to... Out. Just continues to no, scream you at you. Out. You don't even deserve my time right now. Please. Did you understand I'm the man in the mirror? Did you understand I'm the man in the mirror? No, they can't be it, my Jack Jack Thriller. Cause this is the life I live, man. Chan make peace and do this shit. I said this is the life I live, mum's even really knows what I do and ish. I said this is the life I live, ching man with anger, dim my dip. Cause this is the life I live, cause this is the life I live. I said this is the life I live, man. Chan make this peace and shit. I said this is the life I live, mum's even really knows what I do and ish. So this is the life I live, ching man with anger, dim my dip. I said this is the life I live. I swear this is the life I live I swear this is the life I live Mums even he knows what I do and shit I'll go around there and then my fidget Down to just let it spin Each time that man just press it Some big fuss is big in here And I want your friends to drop like fire This is ridiculous When I see my shadow under the tower And I go to the back or knock at a guy Dear dog, I don't know how auntie's so blind to me She doesn't seem to know what's going on South familiar Oh my god, how could you? Hypocrite, stop talking. Cause this is the life I live, man. Chan make peace and do this shit. I 
That's what this is the life I live, mum's he really knows what I do and ish. That's what this is the life I live, ching man with anger, them man dip. Cause this is the life I live, cause this is the life I live. I swear this is the life I live, man trying to make these peas and shit. I swear this is the life I live, mum's he really knows what I do and ish. I swear this is the life I live, ching man with anger, them man dip. I swear this is the life I live, I swear this is the life I live. I swear this is the life I live, man trying to make these peas and shit. I swear this is the life I live, man see Billy knows what I do and ish. I swear this is the life I live, ching man with anger, them man dip. I swear this is the life I live, I swear this is the life I live. So at this point, I was delivered. I knew. I knew that JJ would turn up to this fight wanting to prove himself to everybody. I got anxious, so I shut my laptop. And the first thing that came to my mind was to ring my brother Lamar. Because my brother Lamar lives on the same block where the boys had agreed to meet. I thought, if I call Lamar, Lamar could just fix everything and he would deal with it and everything will be fine. So... I got to my phone and it was a holiday. Um, I'll be honest, I nearly didn't answer because last time we spoke, things weren't good between us. Um, but when I answered, she was all panicky, saying that JJ was on his way to my block with a group of boys, ready to fight another group of boys. Obviously, that's crazy. So I told her to calm down, come over to mine. And I've got this friend who lives in the block. Uh, he's got like a good relationship with the young people. He's a good influence on them. And I thought we could go to his and get him to come and talk them out of all the beef. So I got a phone call from JJ telling me to meet him at his uncle's block. I was thinking, why not? I was free anyway. After a few minutes, he messaged me saying, Go in and pick up Kaden. I text Kaden saying we'd be 15 minutes. So I got ready, but I had a beep I said. It was J1. So I left my room quick. I creep down the stairs as quietly as possible so my mum couldn't hear me. I left the house and I hopped into the car with JJ, J1 and two other man that I'd never seen before. The music was on full blast. It was serious. I had a feeling in my gut something bad was about to go down. I was still stunned by what was happening in the comments and that's when I realised my family members weren't replying anymore. I had a feeling something was going to happen, so I called you guys to report the threat. I, as soon as I did that, I left my house to get to my uncle's block. We got to the terrified block and Daddy spotted a group just chilling down our block. They didn't spot us though. My blood. It was boiling to see the group over there. So we had to cover up our faces. Javon parked the car, got out of the car and we went towards the group. My buzzer rang and I let Lola Day in. Once I did that, I grabbed my jacket, went straight out of the yard, and I met her at the lifts. As soon as she came out of the lift. We ran up the stairs to the next floor, and then we walked halfway down the landing. Lamar started knocking on the door and shouting, but there was no answer. So then he started shouting through the letterbox. And I started panicking because I started to think that I, I'm running out of time. I heard a bit of commotion, so I looked over the balcony and I saw two groups of boys approaching each other. So I shouted at Lamar, we need to get down, we need to get down now, we need, we need to get down. We started running down the stairs as fast as we can. We get to the bottom of the stairs and... Lolly pushed open the door and we was right on top of the chaos. She jumped right in there trying to separate the two groups. I spun around the corner of the estate and saw a big crowd of a lot of commotion. I was looking to see if you guys were there whilst running towards the madness. People were looking out their windows. As I got closer, I saw a number of boys holding weapons and my aunt Lolliday in the middle of it all, shouting and trying to stop it. The boys were running towards each other and one of them stabbed me on my right side. I dropped to the floor instantly and then I looked over 
and I could just barely see Lamar holding on to the boy that stabbed me. Then before I knew it, Caden and JJ were racing. To Lolade's aid as she was on the floor holding her right side. I was struggling with this big you, like this big guy. I managed to get the knife off of him and that fell on the floor. Um, but where he was so big and he was trying to get to Caden, he just broke through. But I caught sight of Destiny and she picked up the knife and before I knew it. I stabbed him. I stabbed him because he was going after Caden. I stabbed him so all of this could just stop. Auntie, I'm glad you were able to understand my intentions and that I only ever wanted to protect Caden. It's nice that at least someone cares and appreciates my loyalty to the family. But what do I do, Auntie? I'm being punished and my story is being twisted by the police. I had to give in my passport until my trial. I'm out on bail and I have to report to the police once a week. I feel like I've lost my freedom for protecting my own blood. But deep down, I can't say I'm proud of myself either. You know me, auntie. I'm not a criminal, so why am I being treated like one? What is so bad about not wanting to, to lose another brother? For the first time in years, I don't know how to feel, what to say, or what to do with myself. I've had no choice but to inform my boss, and now my hours are cut since I'm no longer trustworthy or reliable. It's funny how judgmental people can be when they don't even know the full story. But then again, I wouldn't want to be associated with a murderer either. I feel sick to my stomach the more I think about it. All I wanted to do was protect Caden. I don't feel like a criminal, but I am one. It's tough out here, auntie. But all I can do at this point is stay strong. I'll be okay, I think. Please, don't worry about me. Love you, Destiny. You know Cain killed Abel, but wasn't able to save himself. He was on his Jack Jones, you remain stealth. Being a middleman never was the plan. You say he was on mashing peas like you don't understand. You sound like JJ and them man You led flesh and blood down the road like a side man In the sidecar, shy of a few bands They jumped inside the car and let it loose man Come on, tell the truth man They was after you man Now you're some new man I thought you were supposed to know your stuff Always match fit, don't need the practice and all that tough Talk you were doing I swear you were the one who set it up So in the way you set him up Just another Pied Piper led him to his early death Just so he can mash some peas and get respect death What a hell of a consequence Now you got blood on your hands Eating away at your conscience I bet he's pacing up and down in your mind Leaving footprints as deep as the gravy now occupies You swear the shock left you paralysed But not enough to make sure your name wasn't involved with them guys Sliver, full tongue, scaly skin Tell me something that you tell right away no, I'm the man in the mirror, so you know I see it all As you walk and reflect, say his name Remember, I'll never let you forget Cain Remember, I'll never let you forget Cain Remember, I'll never let you forget Cain Remember, I'll never let you forget Cain